the the minister talked uh, in her testimony about the subcontracting requirement, and um, the procurement minister didn't even seem to know this, but your minister did that the the one third requirement uh, that she mentioned, uh, which is that if an indigenous business receives contracts as part of that set aside, that one third of the subcontracts have to be uh, indigenous. Presumably, they have to also be on on the same list. Uh, we have requested information at this committee about uh, subcontractors, and in almost every case, uh, we've received no information from departments about subcontracting. That seems to not be being identified or tracked at all. Um, am, I, am I correct in understanding from that that there is no oversight around whether or not this requirement is met? question. So for PSIB, as you've correctly identified, 33% requirement. So 33% of the total contract value must be done by a business that is either owned or controlled, 51%. In terms of verifying... So just to, just to clarify, and on the list, or if they are owned and controlled but not on the list, would they qualify for that one third? So um, they would have to be... Sorry, I'm getting my PSIB stuff out. Um, they would either have to be on the list or listed on a modern treaty business list okay. or directory. So they, they would have to meet the criteria for Correct. the set-aside in order to get the one-third. Correct. Okay. And then at 51% owned or controlled, and 33% of the total value of the contract must be done by that uh, business. And so in terms of verifying it, it should be part of the terms and conditions of the contract. And then... Uh, in addition, ISC can do post audits to verify the 33%. ISC can do post audits. How Correct. often do those post audits? That would be a question for ISC. I can tell you that if uh, uh, the client department can request a post audit of ISC, but in terms of how often or how that's triggered, that's really for ISC. Okay, S since you're here at Treasury Board, how often have you requested a post audit? Thank you for the question. Actually, uh, since this policy came into place, uh, TBS has not requested any post audit. Okay. So, we're, we're, we requested subcontracting information. We got almost none. Um, we, the, the, the only way that would be being verified is either keeping track of those sub, subcontracts so others could look at it or having those those post audits done. And we hear that TBS has not requested any post audits. So um, I think that underlines my concern that this core requirement in relation to the program, ensuring that there's actually business opportunities going to Indigenous peoples, uh, my, my, this underlines my core up, concern that, um, that that's not actually being checked in any meaningful way.